This is WHRV News. I'm Michelle Hankerson. It's the celebrity names that you hear about dying from COVID-19, but it's the names you don't recognize that have the biggest impact in Hampton Roads. Like most modern young love stories, the one of Jasmine Smith and Thomas Fields begins online, specifically in the comment section of Jasmine's photos. If I posted a picture and he liked it and it was myself, he'd tell me things like, you look like cocoa butter in dreams. Look at all of that melanin. You know, he would he would always say very respectful things. They met at an in-person business event and then connected on Facebook. They talked through comments. Jasmine knew Thomas was special. Immediately I said, excuse me, the congregation wants to know, if you're married, do you have any brothers? Who made you, you know, He's a six foot two seventy guy, dark chocolate skin with tattoos literally from his neck down. Thomas was a Navy veteran with a passion for food and cooking. He ran an Instagram account about healthy living where he called his followers party people. Good morning, good morning, party people. Give me some of that. Ooh, that watermelon hit in. He worked at a school in Detroit where he helped kids work through conflict. His students loved him. Jasmine and Thomas were long distance, but they talked constantly. Texting, FaceTiming, and even falling asleep on video calls with each other. One of their favorite things was traveling together. Last fall, they went to the Dominican Republic. They hiked steep mountains and jumped through waterfalls. By the end of the trip, they were engaged. He was like, you know you're going to be my wife, right? (laughs) I was like, no, I'm not. How do you know? He said, it wasn't a question. I'm telling you. (laughs) <laughs> you are my wife. And from that moment, that, I mean, that, that was it. <laughs> when they got back to the States, they started to plan. Thomas and Jasmine alternated visits, a weekend in Detroit, a weekend in Virginia Beach. They were in the middle of making a guest list in mid-March when they both started to feel sick. They had upset stomachs and thought it might be food poisoning. Jasmine was concerned about Thomas, who was still feeling sick even when she got better. But she had to get back home on Monday morning. She knew something was wrong because Thomas was taking too long to text her back. On Tuesday night at 644, he said, I love you. And that was the last message that I got from him. I said, I love you back at 651. And he, it just said delivered. He didn't read it. Thomas went to the hospital on Wednesday, where he tested positive for COVID-19. He was there for five days, and Jasmine kept in touch with his mom during that time. Thomas A. Fields Jr. died in the early hours of March 30th. He was 32 years old. I I just keep finding myself sad. And when I start to think about him, I get so happy. And then I get angry. And I get sad again. I get, I get mad at myself because I'm angry. And it's like, why are you angry? Jasmine went to Thomas's funeral in Detroit last week, but it's not the end. She's committed to fulfilling one of his dreams. We literally just approved a book cover. He just finished his book. It's, it's going to be released. You better believe that I'm going to make sure that it is. Like his Instagram account, Thomas's book is all about healthy eating. It's called Food is Bay. Michelle Hankerson, WHRV News. Telling everybody you're mine and I like it. And I really hope you don't mind, I can't fight it. And oh, you know why can I hide it? Cause I am so excited that I finally decided on you. It's been another perfect day.